Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Some very exciting news today coming from the Fly by Wire team. Having finally placed the EFB into the power of the aircraft. So it finally switches on. Uh, and we're going to check out the very basic initial features of the uh, EFB in the Fly by Wire A32NX. If you're new to the channel please do click subscribe down below and uh, make sure you join us as a frequent flyer of course. So into the flight deck and here it is. We've got it all switched on, aircraft's got power to it and the EFB comes on with it. And I've actually gone ahead and created a quick sim brief flight plan just for the purpose of this example today and we're at Manchester Airport at the moment. As I said a minute ago this is very basic functionality so far so uh, things like the, the map are a little buggy um, as you can see there at the moment it thinks I'm in America but over time this will change um, and get more accurate. First thing to note, uh, go to your company tab if you're using Simbrief and put your Simbrief username in here. Uh, it could be username or pilot ID. Uh, pop that in there and uh, make sure it's synced up with the MCDU as well. And you can then hit, if you've got a Simbrief flight plan, you can hit from Simbrief. For me, that's uh, as you can see, it's pulled in a little flight plan from Manchester Airport in the UK to London Heathrow. And it's given us uh, the very basic route that we've got just listed there too, which is quite cool. And really impressively, the latest METARs. The current METARs are both Manchester and Heathrow Airport as well. And that's going to help us plan for our potential arrival and, and things like that. Really cool little feature. Soon the Link MCDU will start to work as well, so that should then link between the MCDU down there too, and give us uh, some good functionality there. Moving over to the dispatch page, so you guys can see a few other bits. Um, we've got a little placement tab here as an overview of the aircraft itself, with the engine options being the Leap 1A, uh, and a few other little bits of data as well for us at max, maximum passengers, uh, max cargo allowed, things like that. Quite a nice little test technical aspect. The load sheet is really cool as well. If you pull in a flight plan from Simbrief, as we have done, it actually gives you that printout piece of paper that you get through Simbrief that you can scroll through with loads and loads of information and uh, you can scroll up and down as well, depending on your keybinds, so you can then read through all of that. And that's a really cool little feature. And over time, of course, the fuel and the payload tab will be updated to include some really cool features as well. Moving on to the flight tab and the performance tab you can see there's nothing there just yet so stay tuned make sure you follow this channel uh, and I'll be bringing you all the latest with a full tutorial as and when everything gets added. And on the ground tab this is quite exciting as well there's a potential here for a pushback helper pushback version of a mod um, to allow us to control the pushback all through the EFB and that's going to be really exciting in addition to being able to control catering baggage fuel in the jetway uh, so there's some really good things to look forward to in the very near future and over time the settings page will be expanded to include some other cool stuff as well so there we go that's the electronic flight bag explained in just under five minutes it's very, as I said it's very basic functionality at the moment so enjoy it, make the most of what, what it can do currently, read through the load sheets and things from your Simbrief integration and look forward to all the updates coming soon there will be lots and lots to come and this is going to be an incredible addition to the mod as it is constantly developed so hope you guys enjoy it, let me know what you think in the comments below as well and be sure to check out the schedule on the channel for the live streams coming up in the very near future. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you soon.